Hey folks, Casey Conley with Two Tankards here. Today we're going to talk about proper measurement of your motor distance and your motor height on your Maslow CNC. And as usual, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Thanks, stay tuned. Alright folks, to do this job you're going to need a few tools. First, you're going to need some spring clamps. You'll need two of them. Then you're going to need a flat ruler. If you're measuring in millimeters, make sure it has a millimeter side on it. Then you're going to need a nice flat level with a straight edge. And last, you are going to need a sliding square. Alright, the first step is to take your flat ruler and one spring clamp. Take the edge of your flat ruler and place it right in the middle of the motor sprocket. Use your spring clamp and clamp it to the sprocket. All right, next, you're gonna need another spring clamp and you're gonna need your straight edge level. What you'll do is you'll take your straight edge level, take the bottom of it and line it up with the top of your cut board and clamp that with your spring clamp into place. All right, now that you've clamped your straight edge to your board, which is leaned at a 15 degree angle, and you've also clamped your ruler to your motor, which is already at a 15 degree angle, you now take your sliding square and you place this part flush on the back of your level and where it comes up and meets the ruler, that is right where you find your motor height and that's the number you would use for your calibration. Mine is reading right at 471. All right, and now onto the last component of this video, which is measuring your motor distance. Your motor distance is the distance between this motor shaft and the motor shaft on the other end of your top beam. To do that, you'll need a tape measure and you'll need a sliding square. First thing you do is you take your sliding square Place it on your top beam and put the edge as close to the center of the sprocket as you possibly can. Make a mark. On the other end, you do the exact same procedure. Make a mark on that board at the center line of the sprocket. Then you use your tape measure to measure the distance between the two lines. That is considered your motor distance that you'll use in your calibration. All right, folks. Well, that's it for this session. Now you know how to measure your proper motor distance and your motor height for your calibration. As always, if you like my content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.